I have acknowledged I have made my own mistakes and I have owned up to them publicly and under oath. But silence and complicity in the face of the daily destruction of our basic norms and civility to one another will not be one of them. I did things and I acted improperly, at times at Mr. Trump's behest. I blindly followed his demands. My loyalty to Mr. Trump has cost me everything. My family's happiness, friendships, my law license, my company, my livelihood, my honor, my reputation, and soon my freedom. And I will not sit back, say nothing, and allow him to do the same to the country. Indeed, given my experience working for Mr. Trump, I fear that if he loses the election in 2020, that there will never be a peaceful transition of power. And this is why I agreed to appear before you today. So to those who support the President and his rhetoric, and his rhetoric as I once did, I pray the country doesn't make the same mistakes that I have made or pay the heavy price that my family and I are paying. And I thank you very much for this additional time, Chairman. Thank you very much. I want to first of all thank you. I know that this has been hard. I know that you face a lot. I know that you are worried about your family. But this is a part of your destiny. And hopefully, this portion of your destiny will lead to a better a better, a better Michael Cohen, a better Donald Trump, a better United States of America, and a better world. And I mean that from the depths of my heart. When we're dancing with the angels, the question will be asked, in 2019, what do we do to make sure we kept our democracy intact? Did we stand on the sidelines and say nothing? We have got to get back to normal. With that, this meeting is adjourned. <laughs>